The first piece of custom software for Anbenix ArcD handheld has arrived, and it's surprisingly simple to install. One of the many things I love about retro consoles is just how customizable they are. Don't like the stop operating system? Chances are, if it's an Anbenic console, you can replace it with something much more stylish. For those who don't know, Gamma OS is a version of Android that strips out the main front end and replaces it with a custom ROM launcher, Digishow. I know a few people who prefer Digishow as the launcher, and it's something I actually installed on my stock version of Android on my ArcD. What's cool about Gamma OS is as well as custom ROM launchers, you've also got access to installed apps, and you can still access your Android settings. You can also switch performance modes by holding L1, R1 and the D-pad in, which is great if you want to save some battery power when playing lower spec games. As I noted in my ArcD review, I wasn't able to get the Google Play Store installed. Thankfully, the Gamma Squeeze, that's the creator of Gamma OS, is much smarter than me and was able to get it running with minimal effort. Just install Gamma OS and Google Play will be there waiting for you. Nice. So, how do you install Gamma OS? Before we do anything, you do need to keep in mind you'll lose access to the stock Android operating system. If you do end up deciding you prefer Anbenix Linux or Android setup, head over to the Anbenix website and you'll be able to download the respecting operating systems and reinstall them back onto the device if you so wish. So, let's get into how to install it. The first thing you want to do is head over to the Gamma OS website. You'll find the RG Arc with two files, one with Google Play, one without. Click on whichever file you want, then you'll be taken to G Drive. Now just press download. When it's finished downloading, head into your downloads folder and right click the file. Select extract and then extract again, and it should extract to its own folder. When it's finished extracting, go inside of the folder and at the bottom you should see SD Disk Tool. Go in there, then just click on SD Firmware Tool, ignore the Windows pop-up and click Run Anyway. Follow the on-screen instructions and when it opens, make sure the upgrade firmware has been ticked and it points to the right XD card. Then click on Firmware. Inside the file should be a Gamma OS image. Click on that twice and it'll load up into the app. Now with everything set up, all you need to do is press Create and it'll format the SD card and turn it into the correct Android image. Now we've got the image ready, all we need to do is close the window and safely eject the SD card. Now just plug the SD card into TFT slot 1 on the ArcD, that's the left slot, and turn the device on. The firmware will now start installing and you can go away for a bit. One thing to note, the installation part does take a long time. It was well over 10 minutes for me. The screen may also go black as well, so feel free to reboot it if it needs it. So the final question is this, is it worth installing Gamma OS? For me, the upshot of Gamma OS is that it replaces Ambenix's generic Android game launcher with the more stylish Deja Show. It even configures some of the emulators for you without needing to do anything. That's pretty cool. But in terms of performance, Gamma OS doesn't offer anything different from the current stock Android. This may change in the future, but right now, the performance is identical to when I reviewed it. Of course, if you'd prefer to have a nicer looking device and access to the Google Play Store, this one comes easy to recommend. For me personally though, I'll be switching back to Android until something with a greater performance boost comes along. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, and if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be awesome. Until next time, see ya.